Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is PowerShell and what is Langflow? Langflow has been very uncooperative so far, and you can see I've got lots of errors here. I, let me see if it will take. No, it's not going to. All right, maybe I just do that and force. Okay, this is PowerShell. It's not giving me a way out. Uh, it should. Control C, Control C just is not giving me what I want. And I'm, I can't, it appears I can't shut down Langflow. All right, I'm going to scale the shell and we will start from PowerShell again, open, and we're going to try Langflow. Now, Langflow is uh, supposed to be a, a UI, a user interface that would make it easy for people to use LangChain. I can say that so far it's been less than satisfactory in many regards, uh, namely the, uh, as, as cool as this interface is, it lacks a way to check if the API key, for example, is accepted or will be accepted. Here's the prompt. Uh, I want you to act as an expert on Langflow. It's GPT 3.5 knows nothing about Langflow, uh, so I don't expect any great shakes. So let's go ahead and see what happens though. Uh, we have we have connections, so I'm going to open that up. So you, if there's any errors, that's where you would find it. Which reminds me, um, a, a wish list uh, UI provides a debugging console or verbose output for users to watch, save, etc. Uh, because the uh, I've had lots of bugs in the UI and in the back end. There's the back end. Here's the front end. Let's start the chat. One more time. What is lang flow? Now let's see if it responds. I got a response code 200. Version one, processing milliseconds, 966, finish the chain. And, okay, so there is the, there is the answer. Interestingly, it didn't output it here. Um, and so it's, this is a uh, Langflow, probably another Langflow. It's just Langflow, I think the, I think it said something about Langflow being translation. Okay, so translation. Let's see if it knows this. No, Langflow translation, Langflow. Okay. Okay, um, this is this pure hallucination? Langflow translation service. It looks like it looks like this 
Uh, it looks like this has is totally hallucinated. Uh, that's the other thing that I really want to be able to see. Um, citation of source from chatbot. So if no citation, then uh, aster and then uh, indicate user possible hallucination. Yeah, because uh, Lang Langflow just hallucinated this entire thing, as near as I can tell. Maybe there is a Langflow translation service out there, but it's not showing up. All right, uh, Langflow, give it a try yourself. I'm not quite sure where this is being stored. That's another part of my wish list here. Um, uh, show storage of interactions with user and machine. Uh, wow. Thanks again for your time and uh, thanks for watching and happy computing.